So how can we tell if we're at a Tea Party protest and someone is there, they're pretending to be a Tea Party pro protester, they're really a lefty in disguise? How can you tell? Oh, gosh. I, I, I was talking with my friends that were up in Boston when Sarah Palin was there, and they said it was so obvious who the Tea Party crashers were. Listen, there are going to be a couple, as I've said, there are a couple crazy uncles that will show up <laughs> yeah. at every Tea Party protest. But the ones that are showing up to, to maliciously malign the movement, you know, with their misspelled signs, with their outrageous comments, with their outrageous outfits, they stick out like sore thumbs. Wait a uh, second. Really so you're saying understand. that the you're saying that the th um, that the uh, the thank our God will people and all of the misspelled signs those are plants. Those are really lefties showing up with misspelled signs to make the Tea Party look bad. Yeah, I would say not. Here's the thing, because I never want to say in broad swaths, absolutely. Right. You know what? Let's be honest. The left <laughs> has some really crazy people, and quite frankly, there are some very interesting people that will show up at Tea Party protests that are not lefties. Right. And so you want to make that. But I would say, listen, the overwhelming majority of those that are showing up for Tea Party protests, they are God-fearing, responsible Americans who want to do the right thing, who are deeply concerned about the direction this country is headed. Don't you think, though, that the Tea Party is a little bit dangerous, Ned? Why? I, I mean, when I see the Tea Party people talking and, and the ones that, that are carrying guns, right? So I'm pretty sure they're not lefties. I see so many similarities to people like Timothy McVeigh. I mean, they, they all self-proclaim themselves to be patriots, right? So, Timothy so McVeigh. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. They all um, carry guns to the rallies. They want to overthrow the government that has been democratically elected by the founders that they consider to be patriots. They're angry about taxes. I see so many similarities between Timothy McVeigh and the Tea Party protesters. You don't? Oh, absolutely not. To take one or two people who have shown up with guns, who I think are irresponsible in doing that, by the way, uh, and to lay it over the whole broad movement and say this is what the movement's about is, you know, I... I don't even see the correlation. There's one or two people, whereas 99% of them are, you know, God-fearing, responsible people that don't do that. Sure, but on some of these issues, it's, it is a lot of them, right? The Bloomberg and New York Times polls show that a, a majority believe that they are angry about taxes. A majority want to... Why shouldn't take... we be angry about taxes? Half the American people, half the American households aren't paying taxes. So who, so the people are angry because they're not paying enough? I don't get it. No, no. What I want to see, yeah. I'm becoming a huge believer in the fair tax, by the way, more of a consumption tax. 47% of American households aren't paying taxes. I mean, that's ridiculous. What I, I told my wife, you know, I'm essentially carrying at least one household, if not two, behind me. They're not paying taxes, I am, so I'm providing all of these services. They should be paying taxes as well. And so when, I say, yeah. when, when people say they're angry, well, they should be a little put out when these people show up because we have crazy deficit spending, Half the people aren't paying taxes. Those that are paying taxes, our tax burden is increasing. And, you know, where are we looking at 10 years from now? Our interest payment on our debt alone will be a trillion dollars. Yeah, you know, it, we, we can... sustainable. It depends how we slice it. The top, act, the, the actual top taxpayers, their tax tax life burden has actually decreased over the last 10 years. Because we're running low on time, I want to play a clip for you of a Hispanic Tea Party protester. I think that this guy is so over the top that he has to be a plant from the left. I think he's one of the guys you're talking about. You tell me. Let me play it for you. So do you want to end all uh, government health care? So I, I take it you do want to close the VA then? But I myself a veteran, a United States Marine Corps veteran that fought for this country. Believe in freedom, freedom, and death to the damn commies. Got it? Okay, is that, that guy's a plant, right? That guy's not helping the Tea Party. Wow. You know, I, I tell Tea Partiers, listen, you're going to be judged by a different standard. You need to be responsible. You need to be polite. You need to be rational. I have no idea what that guy's about. But um, but yelling well, death to commies is not, not going to be, by any standard, that's a little crazy. Exactly. And you know the thing <laughs> that I've actually been debating a lot of Tea Partiers about? I'm yeah. not even, I don't like the term socialism. Yeah. I, I prefer statism, because that's what this is about. It's about, you know, the left wants to expand the role of the state in our lives. Yeah. They want to expand state spending. That's what this is about. Well, uh, well, we could disagree on that. And I'm guessing the term tea bagger you also don't like, right? Uh, no, absolutely not. In fact, <laughs> I, I can't believe that nobody keeps on calling them out at, at using such, first of all, a crass term in public. It is funny, though, right? You admit that. Uh, you know what I'll admit is what is uh, humorous is that they can't come up with something better except for a crass sexual term. All right. We've been speaking with Ned Ryan, president of American Majority, the website AmericanMajority.org. Thank you so much for coming on. 
Hey, Dave, I appreciate it. Okay, take care. We will, we will take a break. Interesting stuff. And we'll be back with more after this. CEO Craig Mellon from Cooley Dickinson Hospital. Midweek Politics with Dave Packman on midweekpolitics.com. Midweek Politics is brought to you in part by Jackson & Connor, classically modern men's apparel in Northampton, Massachusetts, on the second floor of Thorns Marketplace, and by DIF Design, specializing in custom business websites at difdesign.com. To find out more about underwriting Midweek Politics, visit midweekpolitics.com. Midweek Politics.